Hey guys, how are you? All right, so we've got some watercolor stuff here. And we're gonna do the Daniel Smith first. So I ordered some Daniel Smith watercolor, and I know, I, I really needed them like I need a hole in the head, but I really, really, really wanted to create a special metallic and iridescent watercolor palette inspired by Prima's new one that's gonna be coming out, but I really wanted to create one using fine art quality paints. So I ordered some from Daniel Smith. I already, it turns out, and I thought I did, had two of them in stock already. They're not in my regular Daniel Smith palette because they weren't appropriate for that palette and I don't use them a whole lot. But now I thought, you know, I'm gonna break those out and we're gonna put them all together and have a Daniel Smith Metallics palette. Um, so I have a, this is a Prima watercolor box. Um, and I've got a bunch of half pans here. In fact, I just got some more. And we are going to create a box. So they came shipped. Um, they came today, and they put the tubes in these cute little boxes that I think I'm going to have to save, so that I can make fun like tags or something out of the packaging. I just love these boxes. And I'll tell you what colors I got in just a second. Let's get them all out here. They're in Seattle, Washington, the factory and store. And I have been there. I can't wait to go back there. Um, it's really fabulous. And because I'm also on the West Coast, it didn't take too long to get here. All right, so I have, I already had Duochrome Violet Fantasy and Duochrome Aquamarine. I bought Iridescent Bronze, Iridescent Ruby, Duochrome Violet Pearl, Iridescent Gold, uh, Iridescent Copper, Iridescent Aztec Gold, Duochrome Hibiscus, um, Duochrome Cabo Blue, Iridescent Blue Silver, Duochrome Oceanic, Duochrome Mauve, and Iridescent Electric Blue. So I do have a little painting that I made. Where did I put it? And I used the scratch paper that I was testing um, the Daniel Smith dot color chart on this paper to decide what colors. So the nice thing about ordering their um, color dot sample chart is that you can test out the colors on a piece of paper before you decide what you want. Um, so um, we are going to look here and I'm going to use this to decide um, kind of what order I want the colors to be in. Let's see. Um, Cabo Blue, Oceanic. I already had Aquamarine and I think I want it to be like here. Um, Violet Pearl. So I'm going to put them in some kind of a order here in hibiscus. And the problem is I don't remember the exact one of these is a very white color with just a little hint of oh yeah, and it's this one with just a little hint of purple in it. And then the aquamarine one is like a light aquamarine metallic color. So we're going to put this one in the front cuz it's very pale. And I think the aquamarine one is the one that's yeah. So that'll work there. So I think we want these. We and now I'm going to be able to get. I should be able to get seven in each row, because um, you can fit. Th these boxes are made for twelve, but you can actually fit fourteen in them. So let's do the same thing with the iridescent ones. And I want to start with like the lightest color and work our way darker, or the warmest to the coolest. So I'm going to start with the gold, and then I'm going to go with Aztec gold, and then bronze, and then copper, and then ruby, and then um, electric blue and blue silver. So we're going to put them in our box like that. And know before somebody asks, this painting was done with Prima paints. This was not done with Daniel Smith paints. All right. So then the next thing to do is to fill up our 
Now if these don't snap in, you need to move these little fingers in a little bit so that the pans snap in tightly. So see, seven, you can get seven in. Oops. You can get these little empty half pans anywhere that sells fine art supplies. Um, eBay, Amazon has them. Okay, this one here is a little bit loose, so I'm going to pop both of these out. I'm going to push this little finger in. There we go. Yep, there we go. That's nice and tight in there now. We're not going to... Anything will... Wiggle around. Now this whole thing does come out. If you want to fit more colors than that in here, you could do that and you can either glue the pans to the base of the box or you could you put magnets on the back of them. Okay, um, I do have this little piece of sponge I may want to stick in here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So we are done with those. So now we're going to take a piece of watercolor paper before we get started and we're going to make a color key. I need a ruler and a black pen, something not uh, waterproof and fine tipped. So I'm going to draw a line about halfway through the center of this piece of paper. Okay, and then we need to make seven um, rectangles on each side. Um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. You could measure them out. And yes, I've made plenty of mistakes doing these color charts and then had to make a new card. <laughs> I've, done, I've done that before. So measuring amounts probably the, like the smart way to go. I never claimed to be smart. <laughs> I just like to paint pretty pictures. <laughs> okay, so then before we do anything, I want to write the names down in each one of the squares. Oh, this one's exploding. This one is electric blue, so yeah. And this one is duochrome violet pearl, which is a darker purple. Okay, so now. Let's finish our swatches here. So I think this is a pretty good selection of metallic colors for, you know, adding them to faces or flowers or ocean scenes, any of the things I might want to add them to. And a lot of these have, you know, the duochromes have two colors in them, like, a, like the aqua is like a blue and green depending on which way, you know, the light is hitting it. You could see more of one color or the other. Okay. 
I don't know how well the pearl's going to show up on camera at all, but this, this light one, the Violet Fantasy. But it's very pearly, but it looks purple if you hold it to the right way. So there we go. So that is our Daniel Smith, my new, my new Daniel, whoa, Daniel Smith metallic palette. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, my hands are very messy now, and I want to show you something else that I got. So, so that one. So.